What's up, Africa? Finally, the BBC recognised that its institutional and old-fashioned coverage of Africa had to change. Their answer? To send institutional and old-fashioned radio journalist John Humphreys to report live from Liberia. I've been coming to Africa, reporting for Africa for what, more than 40 years, nearly 45 years. You've got to leave a lot of the prejudices and preconceptions that um, you have at home. You've got to leave that behind. You can't come here with a European attitude. You can't go to Africa with a European attitude. Well said, John. And that's of course why you started your show with a story about a Liberian boy at your hotel who was sent to climb a tree to shake down mangoes for your breakfast. Get <laughs> me a mango, boy. Go up, get up that tree and get me a mango. You want me to climb a tree to get you a freaking mango? Dude, it's not even a mango tree. I'm John Humphreys, get me a mango! And let's not forget that fantastic BBC website article introducing your wonderful Liberia radio series, John. The opening lines were, like many African countries, Liberia exudes potential, but has little to show for it. Of course, it's completely irrelevant that Liberia was in a civil war just nine years ago and is now one of the 20 fastest growing economies in the world with a leader who won the frickin' Nobel Peace Prize last year. BBC's Africa coverage rocks, yeah! <laughs> Next up is a video project from American-Nigerian filmmaker Shola Ajayi. She produces a web series featuring Africans in America and all the stereotypes they face. Hello. How are you? If you've got a funny African anecdote, email Shola at this email address and she'll translate your story into a cute video. Kind of like this one. My name is spelled O-L-A-J-U-W-O-N. I was, um, I was in an interview um, and the guy was like, how do you say your name? And I said, Juwan. He's like, I'm not going to remember that. And I'm like, it's two syllables. <laughs> Juwan, like, what's so hard about it? And so um, he's like, no, no, no. He's like, we got we to gotta give you another name. <laughs> So the news coming out about Mali recently has not been very good, unless your name is Kel Asouf. This guy is a Touareg musician who just a few months ago wrote a song called Azawad. Dude, Azawad. Not Azawad. Azawad is a region in northern Mali that was recently declared by Tuareg rebels as their new country. I don't know how things are going to pan out in Mali, but if Azawad does end up being the 55th country in Africa, Kelasu's song would potentially be the funkiest national anthem in the entire freaking world! I'm rolling credits this week with some kick-ass photography from Glenna Gordon. My name's Ikenna Azwi K. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week for another edition of What's Up Africa. Because